guys, so today I'll be doing this rainbow makeup tutorial for you guys in honor of Pride Month. In this video, I want you to know that it's okay to be yourself. It's okay to love yourself. And for no fucking reason should you hide who you truly are. Something absolutely tragically happened in Orlando. And I just wanna say that my thoughts and love are with the victims and families of those affected by this tragedy. We are here for you. What happened in Orlando is unacceptable and we cannot let hatred win. And that is why with this video, I'm urging you to bust out every bright color eyeshadow you have, smear it all over your face and wear it proudly. The LGBT community has always been so amazing to me and this just felt like the right thing to do to share the light on Pride Month, to share the light on positivity, colors, loving who you are and not letting hatred win. So I know this video may not mean much, but it's my way of coping with things. I want to thank you so much for watching, and if you would like to know how to get this Pride rainbow makeup look, then keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by perfecting my skin using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm now highlighting my face using the Kryolan TV Paint Stick in double zero. And to further conceal, I'll be using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And again, beauty blending that in. Now I'm gonna set my under eye area using my NARS Loose Powder in Snow. And setting the rest of my face using my Double Wear Powder by Estee Lauder. All right, first thing as always, applying a base to my eyelids to make this rainbow last all day long. And I'm using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm applying this using a Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush. Now with a light matte eyeshadow, I'm gonna set my crease to brow bone area to help blending later on. So for the eyes, I'll be replicating this rainbow look I already did, but I'm going to reverse the colors. So everything on the bottom is going to go to the top, and the top is going to go to the bottom. Mm -hmm. So the first eyeshadow I'm going to go in with is a yellow, and this is by Melt Cosmetics in the color Neon. And this is going on the inner third of the lid up to the crease. For the orange, I'm gonna go in with Mel Cosmetics Radon. And with that same brush, which is a Zoeva 234, I'm applying this to the center of the lid. And you wanna softly swipe it into the yellow, which will give it an amazing blend. And you can always flip your brush around. Go back in with the yellow and again, swipe at the edges. For the outer third, I'm gonna use Melt's Radioactive. And then with a Morphe M503 brush, I'm softly gonna blend out the edges. And you wanna make sure that the higher you go up with the brush, the less pressure you use to get a perfect blend. I'm quickly gonna go back in with all the colors to re-intensify them. All right, we got the top portion done. Now it's time to focus on the bottom, which is gonna be the top of this lid right here. So we're gonna start off with purple. And the purple I'll be using is by this Morphe palette right here. This is the 12P, and this purple is life. And I'm applying the purple using a Cosette D230 brush. On the center of the lower lash line, I'll be using this blue. And I'm gonna stop about halfway in because we'll be creating a new inner corner. For the new inner corner, I'll be using this Ofra Fix Line Eyeliner Gel in black and a Dose of Colors Fine Liner Brush, which I cut a couple of bristles off of, which makes it even thinner and more precise. 
All right, right below the new inner corner, I'll be applying this melt green color, and this is called Xenon. Xenon? I don't know. And with NYX's white liquid liner, I'm going to trace that new inner corner to make it even more bamming. With Jeffree Star's Weirdo Liquid Lipstick, I'll be doing my liner today. And I'm using that same dose of colors fine liner brush, which I cut some hairs off. And now with a white eyeshadow, I'm going to highlight my inner corners. To finish off, I'll be applying some Dramatic Lashes. These are Lily Lashes Carmel. All right, let's go on to cheeks. The first thing we're gonna do is cut them and show them that our cheekbones are on fire. I'm gonna use my Kevin Aquan Medium Sculpting Powder for this and my Morphe M530. And as always, with the Zoeva 140 brush, I'm gonna intensify it right at the base to really show them whose cheeks are boss. And then with the face powder, go right underneath, right at the edges and at the base softly to blend it in and your cheekbones to lay the game. For blush, I'm gonna use EX1 Pretty in Peach. And for my glow today, I'll be using a combination of Jeffree Star's Peach Goddess and Ice Cold. And for this, I'm using my favorite highlighting brush. This is the Morphe M310. Tip of the nose to get that raven nose, but for daytime drag. And of course, the Cupid's bow. For lips today, I'm first gonna go in with Jeffree Star's I Nude Velour Liquid Lipstick. I'm using the tiniest bit of Drug Lord right on the center to make it a little bit more of an ombre. And of course, to make this look last all day long, we need some setting spray in this bitch. And that guys concludes my Pride Rainbow Makeup Tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my description box below or NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. That all is Nikki Tutorials. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you so much for watching. And please don't ever forget to always be yourself, love yourself, and be fucking proud of who you are. I love you, and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a tutorial with the Beauty Killer Palette by Jeffree Star. Oh, okay. We need a minute for this one. We need a minute. When I visited Jeffrey when we filmed our five minute makeup challenge, he gave me a sneak peek to his highlighters, a couple of new liquid lipsticks, but also the Beauty Killer palette. And when I saw this palette in real life for the first time, I wet my pants in the good way. Jeffrey created this amazing gorgeous palette with 10 shadows in it and every single eyeshadow out of the 10 is pigmented, buttery, super easy to work with and just it's it's just amazing and it's it's fun to stare at for an entire day. So today I decided to make a Jeffrey Star Day on my channel. I'm going to be working with the Beauty Killer palette as well as his Skin Frost and Liquid lipsticks. It's Jeffrey Star Day today. So yeah, without any further ado, if you would like to know how to get this Beauty Killer makeup look, then please keep on watching.